1-800-267-1023 is the talk line, and my guest in the studio is Rick Santorum. He won Tennessee back in 2012, and he's running for president again. Uh, Mr. Santorum, we're almost out of time here, but I do want to ask you about health care. I want to ask you about the ACA. Now, in the past, you have supported, pledged, back in 2012, to repeal Obamacare. I will now, re-pledge. Okay. I want to go through the numbers now, and we, and we know politics factors into this, so... Nearly 12 million Americans right now, they've signed up for the ACA. Uh, over 80% of them have paid their first premium. Over 200,000 Tennesseans right now enrolled. Now, for all intents and purposes, politically speaking, you could be the president who takes their health care away from them. So how, well, do you, how do you navigate Just remember, that? a lot of those people who are signed up for the ACA had their take health care w- taken away from them by the president. Remember, you could keep your, keep your policy if you wanted to, mm-hmm. uh, and, and a lot of them couldn't and didn't and had to go to sign up for the ACA. Uh, so uh, what, what we're talking about is giving uh, people the choice to get the policy they want, not what President Obama thinks they should have. And, and that really is the fundamental shift that we're talking about here and getting the government out of this business, the government bureaucracies and, and exchanges, all of these things that, uh, that just add cost, add complexity, uh, add taxpayer dollars. We're talking about you know, a huge in, uh, you know, amount of taxpayer dollars that are going there to fund a program that is not uh, customized for what you believe is best for you and your, and your health care. So uh, I'm a big advocate of something called health savings accounts. I was one of the uh, first, I was the first member of Congress to introduce that, uh, that uh, concept way back in 1992. I believe that in patient-centered health care, insurance companies should be out of, out of the business of uh, telling you how to run your health care. They should be there to deal with catastrophic situations. That's what insurance is for, to deal with catas- catas- catastrophes or chronic illnesses. Uh, and the government should be someone that supports uh, your ability to be able to purchase the insurance you want, but shouldn't dictate what that insurance is, shouldn't manage uh, the, the health care system from the top. Uh, we should put patients and doctors back in control. This is so just to be clear here, I have about a minute left. Still a full repeal, in, including things like pre-existing conditions. Uh, look, pre-existing condition, by the way, was handled by almost every state had pre-existing condition clauses to begin with. So not everything, I mean, pre-existing condition clauses are, are reasonable. Uh, there's some other things that, that, uh, that you might want to, to look at uh, that particularly, again, I believe states are better at doing this than the federal government. But the bottom line is there's 3,000 pages of Obamacare can go, the bureaucracy, the cost, the IRS intrusion into our lives, the, the, the cost associated to businesses and, and the, the jobs that it's costing because of the additional cost of hiring workers in America – Mr. Santorum, I appreciate your time. We're right up against the break, but uh, best of luck with the campaign. Very quickly, website, email address. Yeah, it's ricksantorum.com, and uh, please go to the website. Uh, help us out. Make a little contribution. We'd love to have your, uh, you have your support. Appreciate the time. Thank you very much. And, folks, I'll take a break. I'll be right back. 